everyone, I am celebrating my 27th week with learning the violin and I had hoped to have the Vivaldi Concerto in A minor uh, ready for performance. However, it has been a lot trickier, harder, challenging, so difficult to play and it has taken some time to get to the point where I am with it now. And I think there's going to be still a couple more weeks before it's ready to perform. And then I'll make a video. Beep. <laughs> so anyways, for this video, I wanted to just give an update for where I'm at and what I've been working on. And also just a little chat before we play some violin to tell you about the journey thus far. For the past, I don't know, since my last video, I actually think I touched on it then, and that was just beginning to really develop this like snowball effect, this domino effect of so much difficulty with this instrument and feeling very much out of my league or out of my depth. Um, I've always talked about having a love-hate relationship with this instrument and I love it so much and I hate it so much and it inspires me incredibly and it defeats me. I want to hug it and I want to throw it against the wall and it just has been that kind of journey. And I have really struggled as of late with learning this instrument because my sound is not where I want it to be. My progress has felt kind of stagnant. And also it's, there's so much time and work that goes in, into this instrument. And I question why, why, why am I putting myself through this? Uh, I'm not having a lot of fun right now. Normally one would have a hobby for the fun of it, um, but this has not been fun. So why am I doing this? Uh, and it's been really difficult. And I opened up a little bit with my partner about the struggle and also with someone online who actually has is an adult learner as well. And she is taking lessons with the same teacher I am. And it was really wonderful to talk to them because it was a good reminder that this is a slow, long process. And these masters that we compare ourselves to were once where we are. <sighs> They just had that experience when they were little kids. And when you're a little kid playing or learning the instrument, I feel like as a kid, you play, you, are, you exist more in the moment and you compare yourself less. You have less of an awareness of what you should sound like or what you're supposed to sound like. And as an adult, we know how we're supposed to sound and we compare ourselves to people who are our age playing so much better and it's like why am i not playing like that why can't i sound like that forgetting that they have 20 years under their belt or more and that was a really good reminder this instrument takes a long time to learn and i have to remind myself to be patient i've also had a it's been a great personal growth experience as well because in the hardest, most challenging moments with this instrument, I definitely could feel inside of myself starting to justify why I, I, I could quit, why I didn't need to pursue it, why I could pick up the cello again or start taking learning guitar for the first time or focus on the ukulele. Uh, I started to like go over in my head all these different outs, these escapes to <laughs> so that I could go back and have that gratification of being a beginner again and feeling like you're making progress and the innocence of, of not knowing how you're supposed to sound or all the pressure to sound really good. And it was in that moment when I really had a choice to fight or flight, essentially. And historically, I think my track record is that I tend to run when things get really hard. So maybe I don't have the experience facing those challenges and the discipline. And so this was one of those situations where I actually 
did what I don't normally do. And I stuck with it and I pushed through and I persevered and I said, I'm going to learn this instrument. I'm not going to give up yet. Trust me, I wanted to run away so bad. I reached out to a cello teacher in town because I was like, oh, I could start playing cello again. And then I'd be like starting from square one and, and then, <sighs> but no, I can't do that. So I'm so glad I did that. And now I have like this new love and appreciation for this instrument and this new, this new determination and new set of um, goals and lots and lots of inspiration. And I just also feel very proud for breaking through because it got really challenging and I really wanted to give up and I didn't. So anyways, here we are, vibrato. Vibrato has been really difficult and I have been learning arm vibrato. <sighs> the easier one would be wrist vibrato. And in this past like maybe month or two, when I have been feeling very frustrated, my, especially, well, just with everything, um, I haven't put as much time into the arm vibrato as I should have. And I had been relying on my wrist vibrato. <laughs> which is so much easier. So I have been going back again. That of course has been a challenge because now I have to not only learn the wrist vibrato, but break some habits that had been forming. I've also been working on an etude for flexibility of the wrist. And I've only, this is a whole page but I've only worked on the first two lines because that's plenty challenging enough. <laughs> and I have, my teacher has a, a an approach for me and that is to prevent any bad habits from forming. Um, so the first thing I do is play all of these notes as double stops. So two strings at one time. <laughs> I isolate the wrist movement that I'm supposed to have when changing notes or pitches or strings. Which is, it's kind of hard and I feel like I'm using my hand way more than my wrist, but it should be like an up wrist on the up bow and down on the down bow. together. Something like that. Last but not least is the Vivaldi. And so right now I'm just isolating some of the more challenging passages and playing them really slow. because you have two voices playing and really the first voice should be louder and the second voice should be softer uh, so here's like loud voice It's just really hard and it's also supposed to go a lot faster, so... Oh, whoops, wrong note, but anyways, 
I, I still am not playing to tempo. There's another section like that at the beginning. shift, but I'll om omit that for the performance. A lot of um, sections where having to travel across the strings, but also changing positions too. So it's been, let's see, it's been very tricky. <laughs> How many times can I say this has been hard? I don't know. I'm not bringing my elbow over enough. Ha, ha, ha. 